so welcome everyone and today we are going to talk about more in respect of the eigenvalue and today we want to talk about the degenerate case so the first question that comes to our mind is that what is degeneracy so degeneracy is defined by repetition of eigenvalues and this means if you have a matrix let's say a 3 by 3 matrix it might happen that you can have one of the eigenvalues as 1 and the other two equals to 3. That is the second eigenvalue and the third eigenvalue is also both of them are 3. So let's take an example. Here we denoted our operator that is a matrix in the finite dimensional vector space as a 3 cross 3 matrix with elements like this. And to find the eigenvalues we are going to use that use this equation over here. That is this one. So this will give us our eigenvalues if you recall from our previous lectures and I'm denoting the eigenvalues with omega and if you do a bit of algebra after this that is you calculate the determinant you try to simplify the things you will finally arrive at something like this over here and from here you can see that I have 2 minus omega I can factor out omega over here this will be omega minus 2 equals to 0 but this 2 minus omega can be written as omega minus 2 by factoring out a minus 1 so factor out this minus 1 and multiply both uh, multiply or divide by both sides so the final result will be omega minus 2 whole squared times omega equals to 0 so this equation 1 gives us two options that is omega equals to 0 and omega minus 2 whole square equals to 0. Now omega minus 2 whole square equals to 0 this guy is the culprit for our degeneracy because you might think that okay I'm getting just 2 one time but no this omega minus 2 whole square means omega minus 2 and omega minus 2 equals to 0. So this means either this guy is 0 or this guy is 0. And from there you get omega minus 2 equals to 0 2, 2 times. So the 2 is repeated over here. And graphically if you think of it, if you have some x minus 2 whole square and you want to plot it in the xy axis, it will intersect the point 2 one time but this is actually the same root but since this is a quadratic equation we expect to have two solutions because that's the fundamental theorem of algebra right a equation with degree n will have n roots so it's a two degree of equation two uh, sorry equation of degree two and it should have two solutions so here the solutions are just repeated so we say our eigenvalues omega are 0, 2 and 2. Now there seems nothing wrong so far but why we are calling it degenerates will be clear when we try to find the eigenvectors. So let's try to do that. So let's find the eigenvectors now. Okay, let me just use another color eigenvectors and first we will consider the case where omega is just 0 so if omega is 0 then you will have 1 minus 0 over here 0 1 0 2 minus 0 0 and finally you will have 1 0 1 minus 0 and here you will have x1 x2 x3 right these are coming from our past lectures that is the eigenvalue stuff like this so this is just a matrix representation of this abstract equation so if I end on the right hand side you will have a zero vector so if you just now multiply this thing the first one will give you x1 plus x3 the second one will give you 2x2 the third one will give you x1 plus x3 
zero 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 and from here you can conclude that x1 is equals to minus x3 and x2 to be zero so the eigenvector that will correspond to omega equals to zero will be given by x1 since our x2 is zero so put a zero over there and x3 is, x1 is equals to minus x3 so that also means x3 is equals to minus x1 so something like this and if you normalize it so let's now if you normalize it then this will be just 1 by square root over 2 1 0 minus 1 so nothing wrong there or nothing suspicious there so let's now try to go for omega equals to 2 and also note that when we are considering omega equals to 0 which is a non-repeated eigenvalue you can see that uh, like we discussed in our past lectures if you have a 3 cross 3 system then the value of n is 3 and you should have two equations that will give you some unique information and one of the equation will be just uh, redundant that is there is no need for that equation and here you can see that that is uh, from here okay let me just highlight it again from here this equation and either this one or this one serves that purpose so we'll now consider what happens when omega goes to 2 and this is our degenerate eigenvalue that is 2 is appearing two times so let's try to see what happens if you try to do that so again we'll have 1 minus 2 0 1 0 2 minus 2 0 1 0 1 minus 2 and here you will have x1 x2 and x3 and 0 0 0 so here finally you will have minus 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 minus 1 And finally you will have if you multiply minus x1 plus x3 0 x1 minus x3 equals to 0 0 0 and from here you can conclude that x1 is equals to x3 but notice that this equating these two guys will just give us 0 equals to 0 and again this third equation also means x1 equals to x3 so you can see that we are expecting to get at least two unique equations that will give us some valuable information but here we have just only one right i mean not one actually two but since you have the eigenvalue 2 repeated two times again doing for the third eigenvalue 2 will also lead back to these equations so this is where the idea uh, this is where the degeneracy is located and this 0 equals to 0 means over here if you recall from our past lectures our x2 is arbitrary so the eigenvector for omega equals to 2 will be this will be x1 x2 is arbitrary and x3 is just x1 right so this guy is arbitrary x2 and x1 and x3 are equal so instead of x3 you can just write x1 over here and now what you can do you can just to normalize it you can just take x1 equals to 1 x2 equals to let's say 1 for simplicity so this will just be one one and one over here and our square root of one upon three over here so this is after you do the normalization taking x1 equals to one and x2 equals to one but since our x2 is now arbitrary 
what we can do is that we can change the value of x2 so let's uh, denote this with another color so that you can understand better so again if you just let's say now i can want to have x2 equals 2 mm, let's say minus 2 so this will be now 1 minus 2 and 1 and if you normalize it you will have 1 upon square root over 6 and this will be 1 minus 2 1 S see that we have three eigenvalues and we mentioned earlier that for each of the eigenvalues we should have a unique eigenvector and this eigenvector should be mutually orthogonal to each other but you can see that this is not the case when the eigenvalues get repeated that is omega equals to 2 is repeating here and we are not getting three eigenvectors rather two eigenvectors and one of the eigenvectors that corresponds to omega equals to 2 that is the repeating eigenvalue has one entry as arbitrary this means what uh, what this means is that so let me write the significance the significance is that this arbitrariness induces extra degree of freedom freedom and they define an ensemble of vectors that is they define by they I mean degeneracy define an ensemble this means just a collection of vectors that are perpendicular to the first one and they lie uh, that means they lie on a plane that is perpendicular to the omega equals to zero that is this degenerate vectors lie in a plane perpendicular to the vector omega equals to zero for our this example and in fact if you notice carefully here that is the no which is not the normalized eigenvector just look at this here this eigenvector will actually depend on the ratio by ratio i mean the ratio of x1 by x2 or you can always say x2 by x1 that's your choice but let's write this again so for omega equals to 2 we had x1 x2 and x1 right so what we can do now is that we can divide it by x2 that is three of the rows will get divided by x2 and we'll have x1 by x2 1 and x1 by x2 so these entries over here that is this one okay let me choose another color it's not that good the entries over here and the entries over here are actually dominated by the ratio that is they're determined by this ratio so this clearly uh, each distinct choice of these ratios give us a distinct double of orthonormal eigenvectors with eigenvalue 2 so here we have 2 that is omega equals to 2 repeated two times and we call it a two-fold degeneracy oops sorry let me just cut that out so it's a two-fold degeneracy now 
a very schematic way of seeing the geometrical picture will be something like this let's say this is the omega is equals to zero eigenvector something like this and all the eigenvectors corresponding to omega equals to two will be like this so there is this infinite amount of eigenvectors for each choice of x2 so whenever there is degeneracy you are kind of getting some degrees of freedom and because of that uh, you are not you are not in a very restricted uh, space uh, by space I don't mean a vector space but you are not in a very restricted uh, situation where this eigenvectors will be mutually orthonormal or orthogonal whatever you want to call it so each of this so let me just denote this line that all this family of vectors or you can say the set of vectors will correspond to omega equals to 2 and this is lying in a plane that is perpendicular to the non-degenerate eigenvector and all of them will be mutually orthogonal to omega equals to zero eigenvector and degeneracy uh, the reason we are interested in degeneracy because uh, we can see degeneracy in our hydrogen atom that's a famous example of degeneracy and when we want to deal with hydrogen atom in quantum mechanics you will see that there is uh, degeneracy and having these ideas will help you to understand that physical phenomena as well and this will be it for today and thank you